Okay, so I watched the uh, first two episodes of Velma, and whew, boy oh boy, uh, I checked the Rotten Tomatoes, I think it said the average was like 50% critics and 8 or 9% audiences. This show is terrible. Um, none of the characters that they're supposed to be swearing, and Mindy Kaling was swearing that these are the characters that inspired her growing up. It's a self-insert show. Um, okay, I'm not the biggest fan of race swapping unnecessarily, but it's to a point where it's like that's Mindy Kaling. Why didn't why didn't she just make her own thing? Norville. Does act nothing like Shaggy. They even did a boom boom moment where he's like staring at the camera after he kept saying he doesn't like drugs and he's on stacks. There is no Scooby at all. Um, and it, it, it it's wild. And of course, they're gonna try to say it's review bombing and you're istophobe if you don't like it. But just the show itself is bad. Like. So, before anybody tries to do that, oh, it's review bombing. No. When someone doesn't like something, they don't like it. Stop with the review bombing. Because you, it goes the opposite way, too, where they uh, review glow glow up, too. Key phrase right there. I just made that up. But that's what it is when they fake these reviews, too. But it's so weird because they're trying to make the cast more diverse. But the last Scoop movie did that. When... They turned Velma into Latina and it actually made sense with what they were doing. But okay, so they change. Velma is literally Mindy Kelly being like hyper judgmental. Then you have Daphne, who is a red headed Asian female whose parents are cops that are lesbians. Fred, the whole time. Oh, we're going to just joke about his unit size and how he's an angry white guy and how angry white men are always this because straight white males are the worst people on the planet. And um, Norville is just a weird lovesick puppy who likes snacks or something. Now, here's the weird part. This show could have went to the, I guess you could say the left side or what people call the SJW side or it could have went to the conservative side or the... Alt right, whatever, right? But here's what makes it even worse: they actually come at both audiences, and not in a good or funny way. So, when they're if you're mad about the diversity casting, it's like they're making fun of shows for doing diversity casting and social messaging, right? And they're constantly referencing that's what a white person does. That's what a white person does. That's what this type. And I'm like, well, why are you saying that? That's annoying. Stop. Stop. Stop talking about people's races and their stereotypes on there and just keep saying white people do this and Asian people are supposed to do that. So that's already ridiculous. And is now you might assume that, like I said, this may be a more left leaning thing, but it's it's not. Because then it's like like, okay, well, people also hold her for what she some of her past comments about JK Rowling, right? Because it just it it, it weirdly goes both ways but doesn't commit to anything it's funny because i've seen people uh say things like uh this reads like a right-wing youtubers uh like bad understanding of diverse and then they start talking about her being like way conservative because she supports jk Rowling with the, the you know the phobia and everything and it above everything else the humor is not funny like they have some okay visuals but the humor isn't funny they're not they're like talking about mystery but they're kind of just socializing and like they turn fred into this thing and okay you you want to do ad- adaptations fine these characters are legitimately nothing at their core like the other characters when i like i said when i watched scoob they changed uh a matter of fact uh, even when they updated from Mystery Inc. At the end of the day, there are some people that say she's queer. Never did it on a show, so I don't agree with that. But, however, she still felt like Velma. This character literally does not feel like Velma. It feels like Mindy Kaling self-inserting herself as a younger person. And I don't understand. 
Like, why? This literally could have been its own project. Um, maybe they used the Velma thing because they were trying to because they realized this project would not work or get any views um, beyond it. Uh, it, it. And the cast isn't bad. I mean, they got what Constance Wu, Sam Richardson, Glenn Howerton, and I, I'm okay with Mindy Kaling. I, I, like I, you know, I find her interesting. I liked her whole thing when she talked about like serial killers and stuff, and how she's like an expert on it. I thought that was interesting. But this is just I I don't understand. <laughs> Usually, Scooby Doo has found most of the time has found success through cartoons live action. The only time I've ever noticed that Scooby Doo doesn't work or any type of Scooby Doo property is when they leave out Scooby Doo and Shaggy. When they leave out Scooby Doo and Shaggy, it seems like the project doesn't work. Um, they had that movie that came out a few years ago about Velma and Daphne, um, and even then they like changed it. and And the reason why I have an issue with the race swapping is because like Hansus Wu is playing Daphne, but they're playing up into like a lot of Korean, like you know that that side of Asian stereotypes and then on the other side of the Asian where it's more like you know the Indian area uh Sri Lanka and all those places they're like playing up those too so th th that was weird and they tried to make it for adult animation but they like don't have the core of who the characters are and then in this show the iteration just seems to have rubbed the potential audience the wrong way so they do this thing where they were talking about her being straight. Mindy Kaling even said, which I think they did some rewrites here, by the way. She even talked about how there's supposed to be a thing between her and, like, Fred. But then you don't see it in this series. But then after she caught heat because a lot of people yelled at her about they just came out saying Daphne is, um, I think, Daphne is bi. All of a sudden, this weird fourth scene comes out where they kiss. And I'm like, wait. So Daphne just, they went from best friends, they, they were enemies to best friends to kissing. And this is within two episodes. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. So Daphne the whole time did this, like what? You couldn't have like stretched that out. Maybe she could have explored this. Maybe she could have did, you know, worked on this and be like, well, I like Fred or this, but I'm getting weird feelings. And they could have did, like, there's a way they could have told it, but they just rushed to it. They even did the first episode where they did a weird thing of nudity. Like, oh, don't you don't you hate it that, or don't you find it funny that all these shows do nudity in the pilot episode, but there's more nudity than anything else to get you the hook while they're like in suds. And it's weird because now you're trying to sexualize teenagers by having them in suds, but basically naked while they move around. And that's really weird. It, it felt awkward. It was like, what are you doing? Like, they're pushing each other and stuff. And I'm like, the suds are staying in, like, very specific places. And while they're moving, the suds aren't. And, and it, it took you out because it was like an uncanny valley. Velma is just, it just doesn't, it just feels off. And that's why I see a lot of people getting, roasting it. It, it just, I don't know. Uh, uh, like the show feels like a full self insert. It's just constantly, constantly coming at people and doing a bunch of stereotypes and then trying to appease the audience that hates race swapping by talking about it and just randomly pushing that. And then it goes against the other audience that would be in support of it because then it's talking about how stupid and bad and lazy it is. So I'm like, it feels like the, she was trying to be meta, but in doing so, forgot to bring the funny in the story. Like there's a mystery that's going on. And for example, she just goes, it's a straight white male because he's an angry white male. And, and it's because white male rage. And I'm like, Okay, there's a way you could play with that, but it doesn't make sense for Fred. And Fred talks and acts like a child. He goes, upsies, cutsies, I'm all dirty. And it's like, and then he says, well, I did it. So they they arrest him, but there's like literally no evidence whatsoever that that puts him to it outside of there's a bad picture. It, it, it's like they're not even solving the mystery. 
And they're trying to give her this problem with her dealing with mystery. She, because of her mom disappearing and she thinks it's her fault that she has like this weird version of PTSD. And it's like the, the thing comes at her heart. It, it's just weird. The show is trying to be funny and it fails on both sides. It doesn't cater to either audience. In turn, it actually hurts itself by not figuring out a path. The writing is bad. It's not funny. Um, it's just like Norval. I'm like, that's, that's not, I understand why you call him Norval. There, he's nothing like Shaggy. None of these characters are, sorry, something fell. None of these characters are who they are supposed to be. And it's just to a point that I, I'm like, why didn't you just make this your own thing? Like Mindy solves mysteries or something because they didn't even solve any dang mysteries. So I've rambled on long enough. It just fell. Oh. Uh, so, my rating for this show is hot garbage. I will not be watching any more episodes. It's uh, terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. And it's like they didn't know which direction they went, so they tried to do every direction. And that's like the worst. If, you know, watch at your own peril. Hey, you might like it. But for me... Done. I usually give a show about four episodes to tell me whether I'm going to stick to it or not. And for anything I could have liked, which the animation wasn't horrible. Um, it was a little awkward after a while, but it, it wasn't horrible. I say this show is just hot garbage. Geek protagonists, you stay safe, you stay healthy, you stay real.